So, documents in ZBrush. This area that you actually sculpt on is called the canvas, or the document. Everything related to that is up here in the document palette. So you'll see here we have stuff like color information, size information, importing and exporting documents. Um, the first thing I'd like to show you is if you click on the zoom, you're actually going to zoom out of your entire document. You can pan it using scroll here. Um, and the color of the actual document is, is defined down here. So this is the back color. This is the average color. So we have a gradient right now going from gray down here up to black. So if I change this color by just clicking that and dragging to another color, we can change that to something else if we prefer something else. Um, and we can change the amount or the centering of the gradient and how, how tight it is. Uh, and we can turn it off. Now I'm going to choose to turn it off just for the purpose of this. And I'm going to change my background color to something a little bit easier to see on the eye. So we'll change it to black for the moment. So as you're saying, we can zoom in and out of the document. Um, if we did have a 3D object that we had drawn onto our canvas and go into edit mode, we can rotate around that object. Just be careful that the zoom 3D that you see over here is your normal zoom. It's not a scale. You can see that from the uh, geometry size menu. But as I'm zooming here, it's just zooming. So the document zoom that we have over here is for the entire document, not just the object. Uh, the width and size of the document uh, is defined here. So if I hit export, this is the size that it will be. And um, if I want it, we can decide not to constrain proportions and make this a square document. At the moment, this is longer, wider than it is high. So if I change this to say 1024 by 1024 and hit resize, we'll ask us to resize. It tells us this is not an undoable operation. We say yes, and the first thing it did was it dropped our 3D object onto the canvas and then resized. And because it was current, it was previously wider than it was tall, this has now been stretched. And um, so in order to get rid of this, we need to clear it. And control and N is the hotkey for that, or the layer clear menu. It does the exact same thing. <clears throat> That's effectively what the control N is doing. So this document is now 1024 by 1024, so we can draw out our object again, go into edit mode, and we now have a perfectly sized document. You'll see that the document has white lines on it and gray on here, and we don't have white lines around all four sides of the document in this instance, and that's because those white lines are to help you navigate um, when you don't have access to an area of the document. So for example, um, I can pan around my object here, I can click out here, and do, or I can rotate around, I can rotate here as well and pan, I can perform all of the operations. But if I were to make my objects this size, I can do that here, but I can't, I wouldn't be able to do it up here because the object is in the way. So these white lines define an area where we can still perform the same operations, rotate and everything, even though we're not on an object. If I was down here on the object, because it's a, a, a non-sculptable object, it's going to do that. But if I'm on the object, I'm basically sculpting in this area, but up here, that same action will actually uh, deem me to be outside the canvas as I am here. So we only have two lines at the moment on both sides, uh, on top and bottom, but if I were to uh, zoom in to this document so it fills both sides, you can see that these now appear on the side in case we have the situation where for some reason you've, you've zoomed in enough that you don't have access to canvas and you need to, to access that. So these appear and disappear depending on the size of your document. Um, so if we do, if you do find that your document, for whatever reason, um, does not fit your canvas, or you want it to, to be a certain size, and, and you don't want all of this space on the side, you can just go to the document and hit this auto fit window size and hit new document. Once you've done that, um, it will resize the document. Now it's changed its color back to gray, and it's going to change that back to black. Um, and that document now, if I was to draw an argument, an object onto it, I'm going to edit mode, you can see that it's just outside our canvas mode. If I were to zoom out, um, it's, it's the perfect size for our current resolution. And different monitors will have different resolutions, so this happens to be mine on this particular monitor. Um, if you have zoomed in or out of your document, and you want to check to see what the actual size of the document is, hitting this will bring it to its actual size. Um, AA half used to be a trick that it would use to uh, mimic anti-aliasing, 
um, which is a process where you remove the staggering effect of uh, pixels that are just there's not enough pixels to show them. So if we show them at, at actual size, this is this is fine. The rendering will also remove those. We'll add those and that anti-aliasing anyway. Um, so if you want this document size to be your new document size from forever, you can just save this as startup doc. Don't do this with an object dropped onto the canvas. If I were to go out of edit mode here and switch, this is now dropped onto my canvas. If I hit save a startup doc, I won't just get this size, I'll also get this object. So make sure your document is clear before using that button. Okay, hope this helps. Bye.